Hi guys, this is gonna be my second attack in this war and as you can see we already got the perfect score so I'm gonna attack just loot and this is a very good base to attack for loot let me show you why so it simply has a its town center located quite outside and uh, it makes it easy to get the quick victory but I obviously would like not only to get uh, one star but to get the five star from this base so it's a global age base quite a high level but uh, given the layout of this base is quite poor I think it's feasible uh, to get five star here so my plan is to obviously go for town center quick victory because it's just so exposed uh, I will place my troops somewhere here uh, to not trigger the town center uh, right away. Hopefully, I'll be able to to deploy all my troops before something spawns from this bunker. And then I'm just gonna use my Zeb on top of this bunker and uh, and the town center and the stronghold, and we'll simply destroy all of, all of these and then use uh, a Blitzkrieg. Uh, for the castle and the second bunker and I would like to to approach this base well actually uh, it may be that the attack will just go very well and they will spread somewhere here and somewhere here which is an ideal situation for me uh, because I want to to clear these uh, anti-air and uh, defenses and these towers so I can use my planes to destroy to destroy those sniper towers that they are really the most annoying thing at this base if you remove these two I would say it's like an, an easy one because uh, destroying this part uh, with the town center and getting a quick victory easily I will then just be able to, to run around the base say for example uh, counterclockwise and destroy it completely uh, but given these uh, sniper towers are gonna really hurt me from from inside uh, I'll need to destroy them and to for that for that purpose I'm gonna need to break inside those walls but hopefully I'm gonna be able to to destroy to destroy them with my planes so yeah, this guy also has uh, two defensive collisions but hopefully they will not change much in this battle but given two defensive collision I will use this trick of placing one one unit uh, somewhere far enough from my main drop location which is also uh, very good uh, because uh, it has so many buildings, harmless buildings uh, on top of his base. So let's go. I don't bring any troop tactics with me because I don't really need to waste them on him because I don't really need to five star him. So I'm gonna place one unit here first so that uh, that will trigger all the. Come on, I want to place my troops here. Uh, that would trigger all the collision troops and everything to go there to spawn there and okay I, I failed to to deploy the seven time not good whoa some some nice donated tanks here okay not a big deal Now sabotaging the oh come on I wanted to kill this tank okay so I've got the quick victory here and uh, so far my troops are going well let's add some use decoys here now oh, it's a little bit laggy. So let's try to destroy all these 
all of these. So let's place another decoy here to prevent all the other thing from spawning. Oh, I forgot about my collision troops. Let's play them here. And so it's going really, really well. I just want to just... Let's just speed up it a bit. So, five stars from a quite a high level base. Not a perfect timing. I really doubt I was able to outperform Super. So, but let's take a look. I'm just curious. Uh, so that the attack went pretty well. My troops uh, spread out just a bit as I just wanted to attack from two side on that wall box, and I was able to to use a couple of runs of my of my planes to destroy those sniper towers or at least to to suppress them so fast star attack pretty nice one thank you guys see you next war and bye